Hello students, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to find the transfer function x1 of s by f of s and x2 of s by f of s for the diagram given below. Okay, this is the example 1.3 problem in control systems. So here from the diagram it is clear that we are having two masses, one is m1 and another one is m2. In order to calculate the transfer function, it is must, we must draw the free body diagram. So, here now I am going to draw the free body diagram of mass M1. So, just this is the rough diagram which I have drawn in order to draw the free body diagram here. So, here in this case, just consider mass M1. As I already said, just count the number of elements which is connected to mass M1. So here in this case K1, B1 and B12 are the elements which are connected to mass M1. So totally 3 elements. Apart from the 3 elements an opposing force will be also produced by mass M1. So totally 4 opposing forces. And here the applied force is F of T which is directly on mass M1 and the respective displacement is given as X1. Okay. Now I am going to draw the free body diagram. So here in this case F of t is the applied force and this is the direction F of t and the opposing force is provided by mass M1 spring K1 dashboard B1 and by another dashboard B12. Now I am going to write force balance equations as we had solved in the previous problem here f m1 is directly proportional to the respective displacement here the displacement displacement of mass m1 is x1 so f m1 is directly proportional to d square x1 by dt square so which is nothing but m1 into d square x1 by dt square next one consider f k1 so here fk1 is directly proportional to the displacement. Here the displacement is x1. So fk1 is directly proportional to x1. So which is equal to k1 into x1. And the next one is fb1. So here fb1 is directly proportional to dx1 by dt. So which is nothing but which is equal to b1 into dx1 by dt. And the last one is FB12 and here this B12 is connected between masses M1 and M2. As we are considering mass M1, the displacement X1 should come first. So here FB12 is directly proportional to D by DT of the displacement of M1 is X1. So here I have to write X1 first and the respective displacement of M2 is X2. So I have to write it as X1 minus X2. And the next one is when you insert proportionality constant. So B12 into D by DT of X1 minus X2. Now I am going to apply Newton's second law. So when you apply Newton's second law. By Newton's second law. Applied force will be equal to the opposing forces. So here in this case. We are having an applied force F of T. The opposing force is produced by mass M1. So it is written as M1 into D square X1 by DT square. And the next one is K1. So it is K1 into X1. And the another one is B1. B1 into DX1 by DT. And the next one is B12 into D by DT of X1 minus X2. Now just apply Laplace transformation. So when you apply Laplace transformation this expression becomes f of s is equal to m1 into s square into x1 of s plus k1 into x1 of s plus b1 into s into x1 of s and here in this case again b12 into when you apply Laplace transformation d by dt it becomes s. So the remaining terms becomes x1 of s minus x2 of s. So to know the Laplace transformation of mass, spring and dashboard, I have made a separate video. Just I will give the link in the description box. You can go and see. And here in this case, now 
all these terms contain maximum x1 of s so i am taking x1 of s commonly outside so when you take x1 of s this expression gets reduced to m1 into s square plus k1 plus b1 into s plus again in this case also when you take this x1 of s outside we will getting the remaining term will be b12 into s so the remaining is minus of b12 s into x2 of s and this is your expression f of s so just name this expression as 1 and now we are going to draw the free body diagram of mass m2 so this is your mass m2 here i have drawn a rough diagram so here this m2 is connected with b12 b2 and k2 apart from these three elements this mass m2 will also produce one opposing force so totally four opposing forces are acting on m2 so just draw it f m2 f b12 f b2 and here it is nothing but f k2 so here there is no direct applied force on m2 so here the applied force is zero now when you expand this f m2 will be directly proportional to d square the respective displacement is x2 so d square x2 by dt square which is equal to m2 into d square x2 by dt square and the next one is f b12 so which is directly proportional to d by dt of again this b12 is connected between m1 and m2 now i am considering m2 okay we are drawing free body diagram of m2 so the respective displacement of m2 is x2 so i have to write x2 first so it can be written as x2 minus x1 so which is nothing but this is equal to d by dt of x2 minus x1 right and the next one is f b2 so when you write f b2 so f b2 is directly proportional to dx2 by dt so when you insert proportionality constant this term gets reduced to b2 into dx2 by dt and the next one is k2 so f k2 is directly proportional to x2 so which is nothing but k2 into x2 now again we are going to apply newton's second law so by newton's second law here there is no applied force so here applied force is zero which is equal to summation of all these opposing forces so zero equal to f m2 plus f b12 plus f b2 plus f k2 so just substitute the value so you will be getting m2 into d square x2 by dt square plus b12 into d by dt of x2 minus x1 plus b2 into dx2 by dt plus k2 into x2 just apply laplace transformation so when you apply laplace this equation will be m2 into s square into x2 of s plus b12 into s into x2 of s minus x1 of s plus when you take laplace this becomes b2 into s into x2 of s and finally k2 into x2 of s so in these terms x2 of s is more commonly repeated so i am taking the x2 of s term commonly outside so when you take x2 of s your expression get reduced to m2 s square plus b12 s plus b2 s plus k2 and the remaining term is b12 s into minus x1 of s this is the remaining term so minus b12 s into x1 of s now i am going to rearrange i am going to bring this one to this side so we will be getting b12 s into x1 of s is equal to x2 of s into the remaining term as such so m2 s square plus here we are having 2 s so just take s commonly outside so the remaining term will be b12 plus b2 plus here k2 
so this is the expression so now we are asked to find the transfer function that is x1 of s by f of s so from the first equation here i am having f of s and x1 of s and here i am having x2 of s now i am going to replace this x2 of s in terms of x1 of s so from this expression we can write x2 of s as x2 of s is equal to b12 s into x1 of s divided by this m2 s square plus s into b12 plus b2 plus k2 let this be equation number 2 now i am going to substitute this expression equation number 2 in equation number 1 so when i substitute that is substituting 2 in 1 so here i will be getting f of s is equal to x1 of s into m1 s square plus k1 plus again here i am having s term common so i am taking s commonly outside so b1 plus b12 minus b12 into s as such instead of x2 of s i am going to substitute this expression which we have find lastly so when i substitute here that is b12 into s and here also i am having b12 into s so this becomes b12 into s whole square into x1 of s this expression divided by m2 s square plus s into b12 plus b2 plus k2 right so now i am going to take lcm so when you take lcm this equation becomes x1 of s into m1 s square plus k1 plus s into b1 plus b12 into m2 s square plus s into b12 plus b2 plus k2 and here the remaining term as such minus b12 s the whole square into x1 of s and this entire term is divided by m2 s square plus s into b12 plus b2 plus k2 so this is your expression so we want x1 of s by f of s so here in this case just rearrange this equation and you will be getting x1 of s this f of s comes in denominator part so this entire expression goes to this side as a reciprocal so when you shift you will be getting m2 s square plus s into b12 plus b2 plus k2 divided by m1 s plus k1 plus b1 plus b12 into s m2 s square plus s into b12 plus b2 plus k2 and the entire term divided by my sorry the entire term at the end it gets b12 into s the whole square so this is your final expression and this is the required transfer function x1 of s by f of s right one part of the problem is over and the next term is we are asked to find x2 of s by f of s so now again i am going to rearrange the equation 2 so here we are having the expression right so now i am going to write this expression in terms of x1 of s so i am rewriting this expression once again okay this is the expression now i am in need of i am in need of x2 of s so just i am rearranging this expression so x2 of s can be written as b12 into s into
sorry i am in need of x1 of s so this x1 of s can be written as x1 of s is equal to x2 of s into m2 s square plus b12 plus b2 of s plus k2 divided by b12 into s okay again let this equation be equation number 3 now i am going to substitute this equation number 3 again in equation number 1 so when i substitute this equation number 1 gets modified as f of s is equal to first let me write the equation x1 of s into m1 s square plus k1 plus s into b1 plus b12 minus b12 of s into x2 of s this is your equation number 1 now i am going to substitute this expression over here that is instead of x1 of s i am going to substitute this expression so this becomes x2 of s into m2 s square plus b12 plus b2 of s plus k2 divided by b12 into s instead of x1 of s i have replaced this expression as such and here again i have to write this one so this becomes m1 s square plus k1 plus s into b1 plus b12 again minus of this expression b12 into s into x2 of s so here in this equation i am going to take x2 of s commonly outside so before that we have to take lcm so this becomes x2 of s into m2 s square plus b12 plus b2 s plus k2 into m1 s square plus k1 plus s into b1 plus b12 minus when you take lcm we will be getting b12 into s the whole square okay into x2 of s divided by b12 into s so here take x2 of s commonly outside so when you take x2 of s commonly outside your equation will be m2 s square plus b12 plus b2 of s plus k2 into m1 s square plus k1 plus s into b1 plus b12 minus b12 of s the whole square divided by b12 into s so here we are in need of x2 of s divided by f of s so when you move this f of s here and this becomes x2 of s by f of s and this entire expression will go that side as a reciprocal so here we will be having b12 s divided by m2 s square plus b12 plus b2 of s plus k2 into m1 s square plus k1 plus s into b1 plus b12 minus b12 into s the whole square so finally we had find out the second transfer function x2 of s by f of s that's all the problem is over thank you